Alright everybody, so, um, this video is overdue because it's almost a week late. Like, by the time I get this posted, it's gonna be almost a week late. But, this is my review for the Social Club Misfits' new album, Feared by Hell. Album turnover. I love this album. It's very good. I'm a big Social Club Misfits fan. I listen to them quite a bit. And this album, I gotta say, it's one of the best of the year. I know... I feel like I've said that about the last couple albums that I've reviewed. So, let's go ahead and get into it. When they announced it, I remember being very excited. When they dropped the cover art, I was like, whoa, this one looks good. Like, you could tell, you could tell by the, the cover art and then the title, Feared by Hell. Like, like, I'm not a preacher, but I feel like if you gave that to a preacher, like, this title, make a... A series so I said the word series and my phone thought I said you know the word and it said hello we can all help you and it totally just threw that other video away so this is a whole nother video so I'm probably not lined up to what I just looked like but as I was saying if you were to give a teacher that the title feared by hell and say make a series out of this like a lesson I feel like they could they'd be able to bring something out of that like feared by hell like if you think about it you know what i'm saying so track number one it's called act of god it's got my boy no big deal on there comes in at the very end spits some fire at the end the song is one of my favorites on the track it's fire and it basically basically just talks about like their success their come up and how it's all just been like an act of god so they're just like we've been blessed and uh we ain't fronting it's all back to God. Song number two is called Is That Okay? This is the first single they released off this album. And this also fire. This song talks like how, you know, no one's perfect. You are who God made you to be. And it's okay to be not what everyone else wants you to be. And to just be yourself. Because the chorus says, can I be myself? Is that okay? Like, is it okay with y'all if I just be myself? Like, can I not just be myself right here, you know? If you listen to everyone else's opinions, that's just going to drag you down. So, just be yourself, be who God made you to be, and it's going to be alright. Third song is called Conmigo, which translates to With Me in Spanish. But the song was alright. It's not my fave. I think I only listened to it like the first time I listened to the album. Or what, the first time they dropped it as a single. And then when I listen to the album. Like, I haven't, it just hasn't had a lot of replays. And I think it's because it's got a lot of Spanish in it. I don't speak Spanish. I can understand a little bit. So it's just kind of hard for me to vibe with it. And some some Spanish songs I can get behind because Reach Records just released that other Spanish album. And I liked most of the songs on it. Like, even though I can't understand, like there's just something about the beat and everything. But this one's just kind of like an easy go with the flow type. And I don't know, it's just not one of my favorites. But if I had to make an assumption, I think it's talking about how God is always with us because it translates to with us. So I'm guessing that's what it's all about. And I can't remember the name of the features on that song, but they do a good job. Song number four is called To The Top. This is like one of the, the bangers, I guess is what you would say. It's got my boy 1K Few on there. 1K Few is known to, you know, like my videos every once in a while, so it's my boy, my boy one gave you. I can say that. Uh, yeah, it's a banger, it's fire. The meaning of this song is like talking about, you know, like the rise to fame. I'm going way, 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 way to the top, is what they say. And it's not like in a bragging way, like, oh yeah, we're all the way up to the top. They're not saying like they want the fame, you know, there's like, it's happening, we're going way to the top, and we're giving God the glory on the way there. That's the way I take the song. Now, song number five. This song is my favorite on the album. It was the second single, I believe, they released. And the song goes hard. Lyrically, when you listen to the lyrics, you're like, oh, you know, and the vibe. And it's got my boy Ty Brazzle on there. I just call him my boy because I've been listening to him for a while. And I really like Ty Brazzle, so. It's got my boy Ty Brazzle on there brings the heat like he always does and the meaning of this song 
It's just being happy with who you are. And you know, no matter what's going on in the world, God's on your side. Kind of like this election that's going on. That happened last night and we still got no results. But it's almost done. And no matter what happens, God's in control. Amen. Call my amen because I know y'all heard that. Track number six. This is one of the ones I was really looking forward to listening to because when they dropped the track list, I saw that Jeremy Camp was on there and I was like, oh, Jeremy Camp. That's a, he's like a contemporary Christian artist, if you don't know. Very popular in the uh, contemporary Christian world. And I had just watched the movie about him, I still believe, like, a week or two ago so I was like oh Jeremy Camp and I could tell I was just listening to the album no way through this song starts off with a little guitar and I was like this is a Jeremy Camp song and then it comes in you know it's fire and you just if you grew up uh, listening to like Christian music you know Jeremy's voice it's very distinct and I was like oh that's Jeremy Camp on a rap song in this song, uh, it speaks about the perspective of a lost person looking for a savior and talking like, uh, he's talking to Jesus saying like, I've heard that you could be the one and he gives like examples and it's just like, it's really like, you can say like an emotional song because like you, uh, listening to it, you connect to it uh, pretty well. And then like he even like goes into saying like, can you save me from myself? which is pretty realistic, you know what I'm saying? Like, how often do we let ourselves get in the way? You know what I'm saying? Track number seven, I don't know, is called Luau. And this one got my boy Hovi on it. I'm calling Hovi my boy because he's one of my favorites in the game right now. Everything he dropped in heat. This song was fire. Luau, this song is just like a song for the girls, you know, it's like, Let's go to a luau, take you to like my beach house or whatever they're saying. It's definitely got like a summer vibe to it. Song number eight, it's called Night Glow. And this song, fire. I don't even know how to tell you, like the production, it's because like, I'm not gonna try to make the sound, but it has like this really cool like, <laughs> like a song drop, the beat, boop, boop, bop, beat, boop, boop, bop, it's fire. And in this song is where you actually get the lyrics, feared by hell. Like, I don't necessarily get the message of this song i wrote down some notes and like marty he talks about like how satan's plans are never gonna prevail and fern talks about how like lately life's been crazy and his faith was tested and how like, jesus was like his really like his only friend throughout all that so i'm taking it is that the night glow is jesus because jesus glows even when it's dark even at the night time like jesus so it shines the light, you know? I feel like that might be where they were going with that. Track number nine, it's called Young Guns. It's fire. It's another banger for sure. One of the only like bangers, I would say, on the album. And I can't, the guy on the chorus, once again, I'm John Blank, but he does great. The chorus is catchy, it gets you pumped up. Definitely on the workout playlist is what I'm saying, you know? It just kind of talks about being the young guns because that's the title of the song but i take that as like you know they're being young they're on fire for god and like you can't stop us summer in 10 it's called i need you and it's pretty good it's like i remember it listening the first time not necessarily getting it but then i was to it a second time and it's like it's kind of catchy like i can i can vibe with this song and it's basically just a song about their wives Telling them that like they need them and they don't know who they are without them, you know. Saying I need you. That's the name of the song. Track number eleven it's called Somos Familia, and that translates to We Are Family in Spanish, which I did know back here. I had to Google it again, but once I saw it, I'm like, oh, I knew that because it's been a while since I took Spanish. It's pretty good. Blanca from the uh, from the old band Group One Crew is in it. She does a great job. Like I said, it's got a lot of Spanish in it, so I don't necessarily understand the song, 
I know it has a lot to do with family because in Marty's verses, he's just kind of like rapping about his family. It goes on. And I think the overall message is, you know, we're all one big family. You know, we all believe the same. We all came from Adam and Eve. And especially like uh, when you take the, the Christian look at it, all of us believers, we've all been adopted into God's family. So we're all family. Because in the chorus, she says, Aki somos familia, which means here we're family. So, song number 12. This is the outro, final song, and it's a good one. All right. It's fire. Uh, lyrically, probably the best on the album. It's uh, more of like a vulnerable type. And they get Riley Clemens on it, and she kills it. The song's basically us just saying, like, or them saying that we're nothing without God. Like, without you. Uh, I think they said, like, they use, like, the analogy of a house of cards about to fall. Like, I'm on the verge of falling, and without you, it's just, like, all over the ground. Great song choice in the album. Because, you know, you know, it starts off with Act of God, which is fire, and then, like, you go in there and you get a little, you get some kind of just, like, vibe songs, and you hear the bangers, and then they kind of start working them down, kind of calming them down, and then this one hits. And like I said, it's, like, the most, like, the more vulnerable, and it really just, like, draws your attention. By the time you get to that song, you're like, whoa, this one's different. Because you can just talk about the vibe, and then you start listening to the lyrics, and the lyrics are great. And it's just a good way to finish the album out. Out of five stars, I'm gonna give this one a four. Because I like this. This is my favorite social club uh, project in a while. I really like The Misadventures of Fern and Marty. Or Marty and Fern. I don't know how you say that one. And I really like Dune, I believe, is the one EP. I also reacted to the Is It Okay? Is That Okay? music video. But it got pulled down like as soon as it was posted. Like I'm telling you, it was up like for maybe two seconds and got pulled down. So I guess uh, Capitol Records doesn't want us reacting to their music videos. So I think this is actually my first Social Club video. So I'm saying that is I do like them and I would react to them more, but apparently they have a problem with that. That's it. Uh, you can comment your thoughts on the album. I really want to hear about it. Yeah, tell me your favorite songs. Tell me some stuff that maybe I missed. And I got some other uh, album reviews for you to check out. And I'll see y'all next time.